It's Dion, fitness assassin, back with another one. <laughs> Putting that sexy element on it. <laughs> All right. Fitness Finance Assassin Volume 7. Today's topic is going to be about how to get your partner on board, how to get your partner to support what you are doing financially and when to combine incomes. For my new subscribers, for people that haven't watched my vlogs and my other videos, introducing my wife. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I think we should start this topic off with um, when not to combine incomes. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that when you shouldn't combine it is when you're in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. Um, only because my money is my money and your money is your money. And whatever i do with my money shouldn't affect you and whatever you do with your money shouldn't affect me at all we're talking about bills in general we're not talking about going to restaurants and and going out on dates and things like that nine times out of ten fellas you know we're going to end up paying for those things and it's very rare to <laughs> yeah, I'm still married. Well, uh, yeah. she, she actually did pay for dinner tonight. I'm not gonna lie, cause I didn't have no money for her. Uh, wait, did I? Yeah, I ain't had no money, man. She just got paid, and I'm still on her. So um... you saw the budget. <laughs> Trying to get them Jordans next week. Anyway. So um, I think if you do want to come up with a compromise as boyfriend and girlfriend with a budget is when you live together. Right. Now, if you live <clears throat> together, I feel that um, you guys should come up with some kind of... Um, Laid out plan. Yeah. It's got to be a strategic plan. Yeah, because when we first moved in together, we came up with the idea of him paying the entire rent. I paid for rent. And I paid all of the bills. It made it very simple. By the end of, at the end of the day, our bills combined equated a little bit less than what the rent was, but right. close enough to where he paid a little more than I did and granted he makes more than I do because he gets overtime I don't because I'm a salary employee so I mean it works out and that's kind of like the only time when you want to discuss your money because you want to make sure your partner whoever you're living with boyfriend girlfriend whoever it is knows when to make sure that they're paying their bills right now the moment you get married, that's when things really get combined. So what I'm, what we're getting at here is, you don't want to be paying her debt. I don't want her to be paying on mine. The moment you start doing that, that's when people start taking advantage of you. How many stories have you heard where you paid on your girlfriend's car note, paid the whole thing off, and then she bounces, and you're sitting there looking like a fool? Thank you. Yes, we got kids here. <laughs> we get interrupted. <laughs> Sorry. It's raw and uncut. It's all right. Um, Baby's making us cakes out of Legos, man. It's, it's okay. <laughs> but that's what I'm getting at here. You don't want to, you don't ever want to play the fool. Don't play the fool. Keep no. your money with your money. No matter if you balling out of control, hey. I if don't Oh. oh, sorry. No, I don't no. care if you feel that you can make all of the payments when you guys are living together. You do not want to enable a woman like that or, for that matter, enable a man in that aspect. Only because if the relationship goes south, and most relationships do, when your boyfriend and girlfriend and you're living together, um, it happens mainly because of lack of communication and the money problem right. and it's a big issue That's so i say we sit down together and we do our budget every month it cuts down on all the fights and the money problems you know that's the number one cause of divorce is money problems and money fights yep. that's this that's statistically speaking right there so our marriage is pretty strong because our money is financially together because we combine our incomes and we make it work we don't keep things separate. I have a lot of friends that keep all their bills separate and all they do is talk about I ain't got no money but all my, my husband has all the money. 
it's not the right way to live they have no clue on what they're spending on all they know is they ain't got no money and the husband got more money than them and they buying all these lavish things don't live your life like that it's unfair to your partner right agreed yeah <laughs> so what was the other thing that we had to say it was don't when to combine your money and I think that was... Nah, that was another part. See, I didn't lost my train of thought on my own video. <laughs> oh, how to get your partner on board with this. Uh. <laughs> so, now, when we're talking about paying off debt and when we're talking about doing things together with money, you never want to talk about the why we need to do it, why you all messed up. It's how we're going to do it. You need to encourage this person on the knowledge that you have. Encourage them to know that you have a plan and together this plan will make things better in the long run. So never go with the why. Don't say it would because then you then it becomes a you pointed fingers like look how much money you spent. Look, 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 you just outrageous with these things. That's him actually. That's a why. <laughs> how? Going forward. We're gonna start budgeting our money together. That way when it does come time for you to get these things, we are in agreement on what we're gonna do. Right. As she just said a little while ago, this year. I wanna do three things. Three things. I wanna go to the Hamlet, Hamilton, Hamilton play. Hamilton, I thought you said it was Hamlet. Ha Hamilton, sorry. I wanna go to the Hamilton play. And I know a lot of you probably heard of it. If not, look it up on um, Google and YouTube. It's a pretty good play. Um, um, I want to go either to a Disney cruise with the kids or a Nick Jr. cruise. Hey, one of the two cruises. And some kind of concert. I don't care. Chris Brown, Mariah Carey, um, Crush Groove. I don't care. As long a, as we go to one. It's a plan. We're talking, well, this is March right now. She said the uh, Hamilton play is way in December. Tickets are like five hundred and seven dollars. It's a thousand seven dollars just to go to some play that I don't know too much about. I guess I'm gonna have to Google it myself, but it's worth it. <laughs> if it's worth it to her, it's worth it to me, and we'll make this work out together. So a thousand dollars, that means we we technically we're three months behind. Two. I started saving already. You know, she started saving already. Yeah. Well, you put that savings there because I sure ain't seen that savings. It's in the savings account. You see that, man? If you look at it. Oh, okay. It's in the savings account. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enjoy the next video coming up after this. This is me and my wife on a short leg day. Yeah. Actually, it was pretty, pretty rigorous, but it's only like two minutes long. Edit the heck out of it. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and <laughs> like. <laughs> Have a good day. I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.